Kylo has been barking and I just see UPS truck leaving, so better get my package. I'm about to clean the floors everywhere, so it's a perfect timing that the packages just arrived. So I'm gonna unbox them here on the floor. So if I make mess, it's not a big deal. So let's see what it's in this one. It should be uh, three, three plants. I'm just gonna take them out. All right, so let's see what we have. These plants are from Michelle and her site, website, where you can purchase um, succulents and Korean imports. So I would really recommend where I had purchased a few times already in the past and I was always satisfied. So Kylo. Hey, sit down. Da. Go sit down. Oh wow, these are really tiny. I thought that they were gonna be a little bit bigger, but these are um Echeveria Mabina clusters. But like really really tiny. So you can see almost a little bit wider than my finger they're very cute i love the color on these ones so i'm excited to add those okay kylo go so all of these that i purchased from michelle are rare ones that kylo go go he's not listening oh i'm really excited about this one this is a chrysula reminds to Merchandi, but it's a little bit different. Wow, they're so cold, goodness. I don't know why she didn't put heat back. I paid for it. Maybe she forgot. Because we still have very low temperatures, but... And I took it up inside as soon as they dropped it off. So we'll just observe it, we'll see. third plant that I have here is the one that I lost and that is Compton Carousel oh gosh I'm just like so concerned they're like so cold oh. mm, we'll see and this one doesn't really have roots so it's a cutting but let's just hope they're gonna be all right Okay, so I'm opening second package. This one doesn't have um, rare plants like that. Heat pack is right here on top, so that's good. This package actually, I think accidentally, instead of going toward my city, went toward Forever City in Michigan. So I think it traveled like a day or two extra. Anyway, all of the succulents she shipped are in bubble wrap. Okay. So the first one here is this um, um, Greptopetalum superbum pentandrum. I have different Greptopetalums, but I don't have this one. So I was really excited about getting that one looks pretty good better hurry up because I was saw something through the window so he's taking a break from bugging me okay so this one here is a little bit different than the candy cane as, as far as I know I think um, it's kind of like a campfire by, by variegated one um, so I think those are two different kinds. I have to see what the um, exact ID for this one is. Let me see. Uh, so this is variegated Crisula campfire. Okay. And actually it looks in pretty good shape, just dirty. And then I have here um, sedum pink granite. I lost this one. I do actually have a little bit left over in a conservatory, but 
I wanted to get another one. Um, and I have two more plants. So I'm gonna pick up the, this mess here. Kylie is bringing me his bone and knocking over my box, which means he wants to play. <laughs> Okay, so I have two more plants here. Um, well, it looks like she gave me, is this a gift or? Hmm. Well, this was sold as Echeveria Burgundy, but it kind of looks like Malaco. I thought it's a different plant. And this one is really wet uh, for some reason. I don't know. I'll take a look at the picture one more time, but to me it looks different than Malaco, but now from close-up looks almost the same as my other one, but maybe they are still different. Then I have here um, Echeveria Mensa. I don't think you can see, but there is a little bit of pinkish on it. I think it's going to probably be interesting to see how it looks under lights. And here is my third package which is supposed to be only one plant. This package was delayed uh, quite a bit. Oh, it looks like it's just this. I thought it's going to be a little bigger. Oh, here it is. <laughs> Look at this, guys. I'm so excited to add this. To my cacti collection love these swirls so cute so i'm gonna plant them all and then show you all the new additions so here are all my new additions all potted up this is actually two weeks after so as you can see they look a little bit better because they have been under lights and rooted this is my compton carousel this is um, a Chavaria Mabina variegated one. I love the colors on this one. It did lose significant leaves from this one. This seller that I really like, but she forgot to put heat pack and we had cold still then. And my experience when it's cold weather and there is no heat pack, sometimes the plants get damaged and they may not arrive that, but they start like losing leaves or they don't root very well. So. I just hope the, these two are pretty firm, so I'm hoping it's going to make it. Um, then here is my Crassula that I got. Looking really good, actually. Um, yeah, so these three came from one seller. Then this one, this swirly looking cactus is doing really good. Um, and then I have another Crassula. This is from a seller from Michigan Oldies. And then there was another one that I left at Conservatory because I think I have the same one. I love the color in this one. Um, it was pretty dirty, but as you can see, it's looking better now after being cleaned and being under lights. This one, I don't think I show you um, when I was unboxing. I didn't record it, but it was in the same package with these guys. And it's a very interesting one. I will try to find the ID. It has some variegation on the leaves. Really pretty. And then here is a uh, Mensa that got a lot of pink color under lights. And this is my Pentandrum Superba that is uh, arrived really kind of leggy. So I'm going to definitely propagate it. It has like a little bad leaf here. So I'm going to probably propagate that one very soon. And before I finish this video, I um, yesterday came by a small marketplace, uh, nursery and the garden houses um, near my work. So I wanted to show you what they have and two new additions that I got.
So guys, as I was editing this video, I realized that there were two more purchases from a box store that I got that I wanted to share with you. So I'm gonna show you those first before I show you two succulents that I got from this small marketplace and greenhouses. So here they are, purchases from Lowe's, guys. Look at how beautiful they are. I couldn't resist it. This is, Echeveria just says assorted, but I love the color. It looks almost like variegation. I don't think it is, but I love how it looks. It has like green and then pink mixed with the dark pink and black. It's just so beautiful. It has two heads. And then this is Echeveria, I think Olivia. Uh, has a pup growing on the side and a bunch of blooms coming out. And yeah, really unique shape. I love this one, I don't have it yet. So I'm, I'm really excited that I found these. Check your lows, you know, you never know what you're gonna find there. Sometimes uh, some plants show up and then for a few years you don't see them. So it's always good to uh, check their new shipments. So here are two weirdos that I got from this small marketplace and greenhouses. This Senecio that looks like it has uh, branches wrapped in paper <laughs> and it's preparing to bloom. Uh, really uh, strange looking succulent. And then this chubby cotyledon orbiculata. I don't think I have seen, look at my finger, a cotyledon that was this chubby. <laughs> it's really big, has a lot of branches coming out. And this one you definitely don't wanna touch because it's gonna remove the film. But yeah, so I'm excited about all these new additions. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for comments. And I will see you soon in the next video.